my absolute mess of a room. It isn't usually like this, but I knew I was gonna be taking everything out today for redoing my room, so I've let it get to this point. So yeah, first step is to pretty much take everything out and stack it in the hallway outside my room. And then I'm gonna sit in here and stare at everything and figure out like how I want it rearranged. So yeah, let's get to it. see the whole room is pretty much cleared out i have some like big things left that i didn't want to drag out just to drag back in because like i know i'm keeping them in my room and i probably could have moved my monitor and my plant but it's just such a unnecessary hassle so i gotta take those out but everything else is out it's really weird it feels like when we first moved into this house and then that wall, the closet wall, had pictures all over it, but I took all of those down because I put those up one summer, like three years ago, I think. It was the summer before 10th grade, so 10th, summer before 11th, summer before 12th. Yeah, a little over three years ago. And I'm just not into that anymore. So those are all gone and my walls look very white. You can see that picture's still there. That's because it's like screwed on um, on the top, like here and here. But I asked my dad to get it down for me or like give me a screwdriver so I can take that off later because I don't want to keep that up either. But I think the next step is probably vacuuming in here because there's a lot of dust. And then there's a bunch of like marks on the wall where it's just gotten dirty over the years so getting some um white wall paint and just covering up all those little smudges should clean things up and then the fun part is crafting lots of fun things to put in my room one thing i really want to do i'm actually probably going to do this first because i'm impatient and i don't want to paint the walls i want to paint this so this mirror, let me turn it around, is black with like white splatters on it. It used to be like an ugly white. And then when I was in like seventh grade, so a long time ago, like five or six years ago, I painted it black and then like splattered all these white splatters over it. And it's been like that ever since. But I mean, it's nice, but I wanna make a moss mirror. So I'm gonna paint this green and then I'm gonna put moss all around it. And then I'm actually gonna um, see if I can get it mounted on the wall. There's not really any thing on the back to mount it with, but I'm sure I can figure it out. And then, oh, you can see my recording. And then, yeah, we'll see what I do next. <laughs> actually day two because I pretty much didn't record anything else yesterday but 
Um, my room is kind of a mess again, but that's because I've been working on stuff and the moss mirror is finally complete. This actually took so much longer than I thought and I had to go back to Michael's to get more moss too. And honestly, I'm worried it's gonna like fall everywhere when I put it up. And my fingers got stained green when I was doing this. I don't really know how. So I'm kind of worried it might stain the wall green because I'm gonna have my dad mount it up on the wall. But we'll see. Yeah, see look, I just like touched it. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's like green residue on my finger from him touching it. So that is a bit of a problem. But like I think it looks okay. It looks pretty nice. Um and then over here, this mirror was like a different weird like lime green shade, but I painted over it and then I'm painting like flowers onto it, but I'm I just started yesterday and it was not like completely dry so I just stopped halfway so it's not done but yeah there's that going on and then oh okay over here I also did this last night while watching a k-drama this is no face and he wasn't standing up on his own so I had to add more to the bottom and then this is uh I think they're called kodamas from princess mononoke and he is going to sit in this jar. I'm not going to put him in yet because he's not dry and I haven't painted him. But then he's going to go in this cute little jar I found. And then these are like items that are going to go in my shelf over there. But this is actually, I think he's going to be a little incense holder because he can like hold a stick right there. You can see I've painted over the face because I messed up. And then... I have been putting stuff back into my closet and I did a little vacuuming. I ordered a Monet water lily tapestry to go back there. And then um, I didn't order new sheets, but I got just a duvet cover that's green. So, yep, that's all I've done so far. Hopefully it looks good. Okay. I think it's been like two or three days since I last recorded, but in my room now, the moss mirror is over there and I'm gonna ask my dad to mount it later. And then my, I got these printed pictures from CVS that I'm gonna put on my wall. Um, They're like art prints. And then a tapestry to go behind my bed and the sheets all arrived today. So I'm gonna put all of those things up and then I will show you guys. But the other day I finished this guy. I'm just like rattling around. But a little Kodama from Princess Mononoke. And I know it's like, oh no, he's trapped. But if you've watched the movie, a bit of a spoiler, they can like disappear and reappear wherever they want. So he's not trapped in this jar. He can, he can vanish and reappear somewhere else if he wanted to. Plus look, he's smiling, so it's okay. Okay, so it's actually the next day already, and I've literally done pretty much nothing because when I'm home, I just get caught up doing other things and then nothing gets done. But I did put these sheets on, and I don't like them. They're very, like, army green. But I have another set of sheets that I didn't realize we had at home already that are kind of like white sheets with little rosemaries on them, um, like rosemary flowers or, like, leaves. So I think I'm gonna put those sheets because I think it's gonna look better than these. And I'm just gonna return them because like, I guess they, they look better on camera, but but when it's like spread over the whole bed, it's a very like brownish green and I don't like that. And then on the other side, let me, I did this. So there's some art print. That one right there is Van Gogh, but it's not Starry Night, obviously. I like that one a lot. And also this one I did a presentation on in 10th grade so um it's a japanese woodblock print anyways i like this so at least this is going well and then i have to figure out all the stuff on the shelf because all my stuff is back in my room again and then we frame some stuff that's gonna go on the wall later today so hopefully stuff actually gets done today
Okay, so it has actually been um, a few months since I last recorded. Don't want to give you guys a sneak peek. Uh, it's summer vacation right now, and I did my room makeover over spring break. So it's been a while, but um, I'm finally done. Well, I was done a while ago, but I'm finally recording the finished result. So yeah, let me just show you guys. Okay, so... Oh yeah, I put that up there. Um, my door is right here. And I'm just gonna go around the room and show you guys all the interesting stuff. So first off, I crocheted this guy. Um, this is an Otori-sama. Uh, it's like the little ducks that come to the bathhouse and spirit away. So yeah, I actually ended up never mounting the mirror, but I think it just looks good as it is. And I had these little butterflies from my birthday party that I put up on the wall. And then I just have this sign here. And then this is also something I made. I painted this with gouache. And um, it's a reference to Legend of Zelda, which is a video game that I got really into actually over spring break because my sister introduced me to it. And the art is really beautiful and it's just a really fun, interesting game. So there's that. Um, my closet, when I reorganized it, I organized it by color, which is actually way better than the way I had it organized before. That's the only interesting thing in here, so. That's that. And then I have that up there, which is the plane from Porco Rosso. That's another Ghibli movie. Um, I hung up a flute. I actually don't know how to play this flute, but I know how to play like a traditional like metal flute, silver flute. I have um, this box right here, which my big painted for me, um, big little reveal. So there's that. And then just some more butterflies. And then this is the um, Monet tapestry that I was talking about. Is it tapestry or tapestry? I don't know, but I really like it. I don't like the curve on the top, but there's honestly nothing I can do about that. It's a little bit giving college dorm. I feel like if it was straight on the top, it would look more like a painting, which is kind of what I was going for, but I didn't want to put an actual painting over my bed because I don't want it to like fall and squish me. So yeah, this is just my bed. Oh yes, these are the sheets that I mentioned a few months ago. So I like these sheets better. And then I put up some paintings, some family pictures. Um, this is the finished little Spirited Away guy. I don't know if I showed you guys that. His face got burnt when I put incense, so I put these flowers instead because the incense gets too hot. Um, this is a random lamp that my dad got on offer up for free, I think. So it's a really nice lamp. I like it. And then I just have plant and some stuff on my desk. And then the pictures that I already showed you guys I put up. And then up there is my shelf. So I have more plants. And then this is this guy has actually grown from a cutting of this plant here. So plants, this has like old pictures and stuff from my like childhood. And I just thought it looked nice in that crate. These are like wooden book boxes so you can open them. Um, this is really cute. This is a teacup that my best friend gave me and it's a candle teacup that she got. Um, this one is a real book. This is a 3D print of my brain because I volunteered for a study where they took MRI scans. So they gave us these. I haven't pulled off all the little supports, but this is my brain, like, like actually my brain, not just like a generic brain. Well, it could be a generic brain and I wouldn't know, but they told me it was my brain. And then this is Leafy right here. And um, I got a guitar a while ago for my birthday. Um, I've been learning to play it very slowly. So my guitar just sits there. And then this is, this is actually like a vest that I framed. And I made this vest out of a pair of my dad's old jeans. But the armholes just weren't really right. And I also like, where do you wear something like this? Um, I also like painted this on and I embroidered this, but I just liked the way it looked like I'm like, I like the heart the way I painted it. So I just framed it 
kind of like you see people with like framed racer jackets or whatever so i'm not really sure how i feel about it but it's up there so yep that is my whole room